Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know that I am currently having a poll in the community tab so you guys can let me know which video game series you would like to watch me marathon. The choices are between Pokemon, Sonic the Hedgehog, Ratchet and Clank, Spyro the Dragon, and Crash Bandicoot. So make sure you head over there and vote so you can influence the direction that this channel will take for quite some time. So with that said, let's get back to more Danganronpa V3. Check in on my stream, making sure that everything is working. Alright, let's see. Alright, oh shit. <laughs> Instantly started hitting things. Alright, microphone check. Making sure that I'm in a correct position to start speaking. I'm using my I'm using my PC gamer chair today. Cause my my recliner chair is like a little squeaky for some reason. I think I gotta throw it out now. <laughs> I think it's days has finally come. I'm gonna have to throw that shit out. All right, load game. Uh, mid trial. Cause that's where we left off. All right. So, damn it, gameplay recording is blocked. Can't believe it. Anyways, <laughs> so, welcome back more Danganronpa V3 where we last left off we were in the middle of the fifth trial I don't quite remember <laughs> but yeah we were in the middle of the trial in which we were trying to discern which, uh, whether what the fuck? I gotta move this chair back hold up this thing is way too close to me There we go. <laughs> I need like, since I'm in my computer chair, I need I need room to roll around. At the speed of sound. So, we left off with um, us us uh, definitively saying that Kaito is dead. May he rest in peace, our luminary of the stars. But we are still not sure whether Kokichi is alive or not. Possibly could be dead as well. Uh, Maki has been hiding some things from us. She has confirmed that she was the third party involved in all of this. Now, I'm really hoping that she's not the culprit. Right? Because that would be bad. That would make me sad. Very sad. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that Maki did not have a hand in this. Right? Well, she did have a hand in it, but, you know, I'm hoping she didn't lead... To anything fatal cuz I can't do this without Maki if Maki's gone I have nothing left so you know we can't lose both Mew and Maki and Gonta cuz he's a sweet precious boy but he's gone now Kokichi says a fucking asshole also Kokichi has came out and said that he is the mastermind which I 100% do not believe because I don't believe anything coming out that guy's mouth. Rontaro's ultimate talent still is a mystery. So that's going to be interesting when that happens. And uh, I think that's I think that's it. Really? I'm surprised that Kibo is still alive. <laughs> Kibo is still alive. It surprises me. All right. So without further ado. Oh, God. I feel like I'm about to. I feel like I'm about to fucking throw up. I hate that feeling. It just randomly comes, you know? Like something's coming up. But, um... Without further ado, let us get back into Danganronpa V3. Because we left off on a pretty nice cliffhanger. Also, I still wasn't able to, um... I say still. God. Just as a follow-up. I have the fucking love... 
key or whatever the fuck it's called and it hasn't activated which I'm guessing the reason for that is just because at the time Monokuma was unavailable so maybe that's why but if we have a uh, if we somehow still have free time after this trial then uh hopefully we can get that to activate It's the Monokuma and Cups Theater. And then the Monokuma and Cups Theater segment began. But with all the Monokups destroyed, this segment has this segment is no longer possible. And so the curtains quickly fell. Oh god, for real? <laughs> Alright, back to the trial. The trial of the dragon. <laughs> Alright, Maki. I've been waiting a week. The flashback light became the motive. Maki, I've been waiting a week. Please tell me I did not wait a week just to see you die. Cause I'm gonna be really fucking sad. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. Okay. I thought that if I killed him, this game, and the battle between hope and despair would end so did you kill him i was confident in my talent as an assassin i knew i would be able to do it we've tried to end this killing game before but to no avail you were naive huh that's what i thought i knew kokichi would take advantage of my naivete simply because it's him my naivete <laughs> maki totally gets me that's why. I needed to settle it myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow. And broke into the hangar with an exosol. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. Kaito and Kokichi were fighting each other. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow. Probably by Kaito when he fought back. Both of them stopped and looked at the exosol. Most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Okay. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the exosol I was in. I jumped out of the exosol before he could and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. Oh shit. Wait, Maki. Then that should have been it. Are you... You're not going to tell me that Kaito tried to attack you. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. The Strike 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. I wanted Kokichi to confess his true intentions before he died. And find out why he was always lying and trying to confuse us. What do you mean? If he was the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? Yeah. He could have made it seem as if the late Junko was secretly behind this killing game. That way, he could reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game. Okay. Because of his suspicious actions, anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Especially with that message in the courtyard. Yeah, that's why it doesn't add up to me. Kokichi said it was a hint. But was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? As a remnant of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. That would make sense too. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, that's a good point. Maki must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. What are you talking about? Remnants of despair? What's that? So, that's what I was kind of thinking towards. Because Kokichi wasn't present for the flashback light stuff and he like he basically we couldn't get the one that angie had then 
the one with Gonta, he didn't use it on himself. And then the one we just got, he wasn't there to use it. So he wouldn't be able to remember the remnants. I feel like, I feel like someone else must have been feeding some type of information to him, right? And then he just kind of went with it. it was pointless to continue the conversation so I shot the final arrow Maki you didn't shoot Kaito but then oh god what Kaito protected Kokichi why why would Kaito protect Kokichi at that moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. And you grabbed as many antidotes as you can that would... that would have some sort of effect on it. So you didn't have the antidote with you at the time? I used Strike 9 poison to torture Kokichi for info, but I planned to kill him from the start. <laughs> That's so mean! But that was my first mistake. Because of that... You what? I ended up killing Kaito. Wait... That still doesn't add up. Usually this is the part where I would expect her to say, so then in a hurry I went to go create an antidote. But if she didn't do that, then that means someone else went to my lab. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. Okay. There we go. She did go to my lab. Okay. I assumed it was Kokichi's doing. But because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow. So I went to the bathroom window. Kaito, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote! After calling out to him, I chucked the antidote through the bathroom window. Kaito noticed it and grabbed the antidote. But Kokichi stole it from him. Oh, shit. Sorry, but I can't die here. Since I'm the mastermind of this killing game. Oh, so he's definitely not the true mastermind. Well, we all know he's not the true mastermind, but this is the definitive moment. Because the mastermind wouldn't give a fuck if they died or not. Wait! There's only one antidote! Oh, you don't have to worry about Kaito. He fulfilled his dream, right? He already went to space. <clears throat> Damn it! S stop Phew, I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. Or maybe not, because now another class trial is going to start. Class trial? You'll be the blackened for this case, you know. The blackened who killed Kaito. I... I killed... Wait. Wait. Did Kaito kill himself? Shut it! the class trials. Like hell am I gonna let you have your way? Kaito! Why did you protect Kokichi? If you didn't help him, then... I couldn't help it. Even if it's Kokichi, I, I can't... have you kill anybody. What? Aww. Kaito wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. The situation just got way worse. Huh. Maki is gonna become the black and responsible for killing you. All because you protected me! D don't you worry, Makiro. 
I'm not gonna die that easily. Just leave it to me. I'll put an end to this killing game. <laughs> You're still full of energy, even like that. You really are not boring. What? <laughs> I want to see what a dying Kaito can do. So, show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. What are you? Don't mind me. Run, Maki Roll. Just hurry up and run. Run and live. You gotta live. I keep hitting my fucking cord. I gotta get this thing out of my way. There's too many goddamn wires around here. Which one is which? Is this the one that's getting hit all the fucking time? Let me see. It is this one. Let's move that out the way. But I refuse to give up. I tried to enter the hangar by breaking the control panel with my knife. In the end, I couldn't. So that's where the marks on the control panel came from, huh? After that, I returned to the bathroom window once more, but I didn't see anyone. The bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do was leave. That's when I made up my mind. As the blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during this class trial. In exchange for all of your lives. Damn, Maki. Can't say that I, uh, don't respect it, but at the same time, why me? <laughs> why me? Shouldn't you had some sort of hesitation? Like, oh yeah, Suichi's here too. <laughs> God, I love you, Maki. Uh, hi, Miru. How's it going? So that's what. Hope happened. your day was lovely. Then Kokichi, knowing what he knew, still helped Maki cover up her crime. Can you do me a quick favor and tell me if the game is too quiet or not? Because I can't really tell. Was that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As his friend, I felt obliged to help him. How dare you make fun of him! You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! You fucking asshole! <laughs> she did it! She snapped! Ooh, Maki is so scary! Good thing I'm in this exosol. Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. So... What are everyone's plans now? I don't know. Roll over and die, I guess. With the truth out in the open, who are you guys going to vote for? You can vote for me, but if you do, we'll all die together. Or vote for Maki and live. You know, the story still doesn't add up. Why was he in the press? Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why? Why are you so calm? Your life depends on this, too. Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you gonna vote for? No, we can't vote yet. We don't have the whole truth. This case isn't over. Huh? Thank you for telling us everything, Maki. Thanks to you, I finally understand. There's another hidden truth within your testimony. A hidden truth? Yes, a hidden truth. Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with a testimony you've given us. The part of Maki's testimony that doesn't add up. Let's see, control panel being damaged, Maki becoming the black, and Kokichi drinking the antidote. No, 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 no. I was wrong! <laughs> I was wrong! Kaito protecting Kokichi. Control panel being damaged. Then it's drinking the antidote. What? The hell you mean? Control panel's damaged. You're telling me Kaito wouldn't protect Kokichi? Come on. What? I was wrong. That makes zero sense to me. How's the control panel being damaged? Not wait. It has the knife marks to prove it. 
Where are you going with this, Suichi? Let it end here. Oh man, we gotta go through all this shit again just because I fucked up. Damn it. This is what happens. At least it's not as bad as uh, Phoenix Wright, you know? <laughs> it's like, I hope you saved in the middle of it, because then you would have to do it all over again. <laughs> I hope the great Ace Attorney isn't like that. That was probably like the worst part of Phoenix Wright. Man, that's a lot of dialogue. <laughs> I didn't even realize how much this shit was. Alright. There we go. Control panel. That's it. Now where are you going with this, Suichi? Maki said she used a knife to try to break the control panel and enter the hangar. Okay. But that doesn't make sense because there's an alarm system on the shutter. Hmm. She's... She didn't have the XSL with her? Oh, yeah! The alarm should have gone off if someone got close to the shutter. I was too focused to notice at the time. But now that you mention it, it is odd. Oh. See, I was just assuming that she tucked the XSL with her. Oh, but you would still have to be inside the XSL for it to not go inside. So if she was at the control panel... Okay, that makes sense. Sensor just missed her. Nah, the security there isn't that sloppy. If a shady person got near the shutter, the alarm would have gone off without question. You call Maki shady? Then why didn't the alarm go off? Like I told you, this isn't over. There's still a hidden truth to find. That's right. There must be some kind of reason behind all the oddities. Finding that reason will help us find the hidden truth. Okay, what are we working with? Hatches electronic lock. I did attempt to enter the Bosco, electro bomb. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. Did Kokichi use his electro bomb to help out Kaito so the hydraulic press wouldn't read that he's a human? But if you would approach the shutter. The alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. I'm gonna shoot that one. Maybe it was just Damn broken. It. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Did you really try to break the control panel with them? I'm not going to tell any more lies. I believe in you, Maki. I did attempt to enter the hangar. Okay. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. With the knife? At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. Didn't go off, I believe that. But if you would approach the shutter, uh -huh. the alarm would have acted. Watch out! That's wrong! Kokichi used his electro bomb. There is a way to disable the alarm system. An electro bomb would take it down. But Maki only had one bomb, and she used it during the raid this morning. Then the only other person who could have used one is Kokichi, right? Huh? Why would I use an electro bomb? I had no reason to shut off the alarm, right? I'd be at a disadvantage if I did that. I guess so. I can't come up with a reason why Kokichi would want to cut the alarm. But we know that the alarm system was neutralized. It had to be. In that case, then... I've got it! Disabling the alarm system wasn't the real objective. What? The main objective of Kokichi using the electro bomb was keep Kibo away. Disable the press safety function. That's it. Aha! It was to deactivate the safety function on the press. Deactivate the safety function? The electro bomb wouldn't have just taken down the alarm system. That would also make sense why we have a video recording. Because Kaito said, Kokichi, you said you was gonna. You weren't gonna get in the way of my plan. So, 
Use that electro bomb. Record my death. Save Maki. It also would have disabled the hydraulic press's safety function. That's true, but why would he do that? There's only one reason that anyone would want to do that. But if I'm right, it means that we've been thinking about this all wrong. All wrong? What aspect of the case runs contrary to the new evidence? Mastermind of the killing game. Credibility of the video. Oh shit, that wouldn't make sense either, right? Would that be- would the camera be able to work? If everything's getting all electrified? Hmm. Alright, whatever. Kaito's cause of death. That's it! Watch out! Kaito's cause of death. What? If the electro bomb was used while Maki was trying to deliver the antidote, maybe Kaito didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. Yes, the cause of death. It has to be the murder video. The hydraulic press. This is it. The hydraulic press. Kaito could have been killed by the press after all. What? He could have? If the safety was off, the press could have crushed Kaito while he was still alive. Right after I threw the antidote, I tried to open the shutter. So, Kaito should have still been alive. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. If that's the case, it means the one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. It was Kaito. It would be whoever was operating the hydraulic press. Kokichi. Yeah, but I don't think Kokichi would have killed him. I think Kokichi... I think Kaito just would have been like, Nuh-uh, let me do it, bro. I see. Very impressive. The hydraulic press could have been the cause of death. But that's just a possibility. But that's just a theory. A game theory. <gasps> Thanks for watching. What do you mean? It's possible that I killed Kaito with the press, but there's no way to know. Kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press. Both causes are possible, but you'll never be able to determine it. No matter what. No matter what? That's not true! We can probably solve this mystery too! Right, Shuichi? There's a chance that the poison might have gotten to him before the press. Is it really possible to determine Kaito's actual cause of death? It's possible. There's no evidence. Damn it. I mean, it's possible if you believe. Damn, dude. I hate to admit it, but Kokichi is right. We have no way to prove the cause of death. What did you say? You can't check the body, and you don't have any conclusive evidence. You can't deduce any more from here on out. There's no way to know what happened. But I know, because I was actually involved. So that's what you were trying to do. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. <laughs> do you finally get it? Yep, that was my plan. The gimmick of this murder case isn't the unknown victim. But rather, the unknowable culprit! No one understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition! I'm choosing Kaito. Intuition. <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? But there's nothing you can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. So, who is the culprit? Maki or me? I'm not sure if they're gonna actually give me the chance to choose right here before someone interjects or something, but just in case I fuck it up. <laughs> just in case. Because I will. The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time! I'm going with my gut. But it has to be unanimous, right? So it doesn't matter who we vote for. 
If we all chose wrong, then... I'm going Kaito. Going with my gut. Announcement? That's my line! I'm the one who decides when it's voting time! Oh, come on. No one's gonna figure out the truth. Let's just vote already. This won't be a problem, right, Monokuma? Because you know who the culprit is, don't you? Just like you always do. Huh? Uh, yes, uh, of course. Oh, God, Monokuma, you don't even know? What kind of a reaction is that? The, the, the culprit, you say? Uh, uh, yes, uh, of course I know. Hmm? Why do you seem so flustered? Flustered? Me? <laughs> what are you talking about? Wait, so is this trial gonna become null and void? What's going on right now? Monokuma, do you not know who the culprit is either? Huh? Oh, what do you mean I don't know? Uh, what don't I know, huh? You don't know, do you? Is that why Monokuma was surrounded by the Exocells? So he wouldn't interfere? What does this mean? Why doesn't Monokuma know who the culprit is? Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is either. Monokuma doesn't know. What does that tell us about this case? Wait, this case? If Monokuma doesn't know, then that means Kokichi's not the mastermind too, right? Yes, that's it! So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Huh? What are you talking about? Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. A murder Monokuma couldn't figure out? What's the point of that? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma. But consider how many elements of this case would be cleared up. Prior to this case, Monokuma always knew the specific details of each crime, correct? That must mean that he was using some way of monitoring us. Perhaps there are hidden cameras strategically placed to avoid our detection. <laughs> I wonder how Monokuma was keeping an eye on us. Was it the big speakers with the monitors on them? I can't say for certain, but he must be keeping watch somehow. Kokichi probably used the Electrobomb to scramble whatever that was. The Electrobomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Which means it wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. Like I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! Before we determine that for sure, I want to make one thing clear. If the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma, the Exosols... Yes. The Exosols weren't protecting Monokuma. They were. They were keeping an eye on his ass. They were watching him. That's it! They were watching Monokuma. Watching him? Yes. Remember what Monokuma said earlier in the investigation? Oh, at the time the Exocells were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. If they were protecting him like bodyguards, they wouldn't have been facing him. They would have been scanning the area, watching us. But they weren't. That implies that they weren't watching us. They were watching him. They were trying to make sure that Monokuma wouldn't go near the crime scene. That reminds me. Before I stole an Exosol, all four units were focused on Monokuma. That's why when I stole one to enter the hangar, the other three didn't pursue me. So Monokuma must have been talking about Maki. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So, you share it instead. That's, that way it'll be fair to all the participants. She didn't want to share that information because it would have linked her to the murder. In which case, it could only be Maki. You're right. Um, so, to summarize this discussion, 
Kokichi used the electro bomb in the hangar and the Exosols to watch Monokuma, thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is? I told you there's no point! Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! No, Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. What? But Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling Monokuma? Kokichi might not be the mastermind. What? Remember that the only reason we think that is because Kokichi told us. Monokuma hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> no way I lied! I'm definitely controlling Monokuma. The mastermind of the killing game is totally me. The one who pitted humanity's last survivors against each other is... all me, baby. That's right. He's a remnant of despair. How do we forget that? But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the mastermind. Um, well, I guess. But hmm. is that really possible? So let's say he is a remnant of despair, right? And he's not just bullshitting his way through it. That means we have two remnants with us. Well, Monokuma? I can't answer that without causing problems, because I've got to run this trial fair and square. Even more reason to give us the answer. If you don't tell us the truth right now, you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies. And that means you will be directly involved with this case. Does that sound like a fair game? Would you say this class trial is fair? Yeah, tell us! Is Kokichi the real mastermind or not? No need to think about it. You're being way too forward. Aren't you normally the forward one? Huh? I mean, I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. And what is that truth? I'm not being controlled by Kokichi, because he's not the mastermind. <gasps> he's just an asshole. <laughs> is that really true? Kokichi was just messing with you. I never once said he was the mastermind. Then it was all Kokichi's lie? Yeah, that is what that would mean. With the key from the last motive, he was the first to learn the truth of the outside world. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. I see. Kokichi's own deductions. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all this lying, so everything I saw now... Everything I saw... Everything I say now will be the truth, okay? His deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. Hmm. Are you trying to tell... Huh. Let's see. So. There's two ways this can go. Either Kokichi's just a 100% dickhead. Or, in his own fucked up way, he was trying to protect us. Because when you think about it, once Gonta's gone, he can then enact his plan, go on, I don't care about Gonta, thus becoming the villain, right? And then, uh, and then hiding and scheming, coming back, tell everyone about the Electro shit so they can go find out for themselves, and then telling them that he was the mastermind, and if he were to say, I'm the mastermind, and I say the killing game's over, then no one would have a reason to kill. On top of that, no one would have a reason to leave. Uh, to leave. So, even with his lies, he would be protecting everyone. But what about the Exosol? He became the villain to be the hero. If Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, how'd he control them so easily? He just used Mew's remote control, right? Mew made a remote for the Exosols? 
So the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? Oh, you didn't know? Mew not only invented the electro bomb and the electro hammer, she also made a remote control that can hijack any electronic device. Kokichi just slapped a receiver on each of the exosoles and took them for a spin. Hey, isn't it a bit unfair to tell them all that? Fairness has nothing to do with it. I offered up that info purely out of spite. <laughs> he said, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> spite towards you for trying to usurp the mastermind's role and take over the game. Well, whatever. It's way more interesting to defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. What's going on? It seems like they're actually fighting. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the mastermind. And thus, he also isn't the Moidara. Were we just being dragged around by Kokichi's lies the whole time? What were you trying to accomplish by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi? Yeah! Now you're gonna be all quiet? This is so frustrating! Then if he's not the mastermind, who is? Are you so certain there's even a mastermind to begin with? Because there has to be. What? What do you mean? Why, that's on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. But I want to know. The real mastermind's not Kokichi. Then who could it be? I was thinking it was Junko and Ashima, but that can't be. She's dead. We never come into contact with her. If so, who's done this? Who planned this killing game? Anyway, this conversation has flown off the rails. Let's get things back on track. This class trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. So, yeah, get to talking. I agree. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is, Let's figure out the culprit! But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. How is he supposed to confirm the results? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision-making to Monokuma. But you gotta run the class trial too. So no mistakes, okay? Are you trying to get me to do something? You've been watching us solve all these cases. But you can't be a spectator anymore. You're gonna participate in the class trial from here on out. Oh, shit. <laughs> huh? So, let's resume this class trial. Monokuma, you gotta use your brain, too. This will be the final class trial! Me versus Monokuma! Oh, hey, Ethanol. How's it going? It's been a while since I've seen you. You versus Monokuma? When I play a game, I intend to roam. But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No. Beating the game's mastermind is the true victory. And that's how I'll win! That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma! If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner! Man, Kokichi, you are one crazy son of a bitch. You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win again? Last time you saw me was Ghost of Shishima. Mm. No, I, I think you showed up for one of the Danganronpa uh, streams. I think it was like really early on, like in the beginning. Definitely wasn't Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima was like back all the way in February, March, somewhere around there, right? As I suspected, we played a couple of games after that. All logic. But since the outside world is in total ruin. This game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. You really are a remnant of despair. Your way of thinking is just chaotic. Remnant of despair? Eh, whatevs. Let's just get this started. I feel like Okichi doesn't know what the hell the remnant is. If the students or Monokuma don't know who the culprit is, then I'm the winner. Don't underestimate. Oh shit, I did not mean to skip that. <laughs> It's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game. But these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. 
If you think they're gonna make this easy for you, you better think again. Whose side are you taking here? Side? Isn't it obvious? Did I play another episode? What do you mean by that? You gotta be a little more specific. Monokuma joins your party! Also, yeah, I think after Ghost of Tsushima, we played, uh... Uh, Dengarapa another episode. Oh, you mean, um, Ultra Despair Girls? Yeah, 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 Ultra Despair Girls. Yeah, I played that before. I didn't record it, I played that on my own time, like, years ago. But I, it was, the game was, like, clunky, but it was, it was still pretty good. I liked it, you know? At the end of every fucking, <laughs> every chapter, you have Byakuya getting whipped. He's like, uh, uh, I know you'll come for me, Toko. I'll be waiting. Ultimate Despair Headmaster. Who invited you? Now, let's join forces and unravel the truth behind this case. Well, we were going to do it anyway. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. Yeah! Let's just focus on the case! Yeah, but, um... After Ghost of Shima, I'm pretty sure we played Resident Evil 7 and 8. And did I play Resident Evil 4 after... Ghost? I played Resident Evil 4 after Ghost as well, right? And then there was Phoenix Ride. <laughs> hey! Be quiet so we can ignore you! Now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? In my experience, whenever you learn a new fact, you learn something else along with it. Yes, let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. <laughs> I guess you are both robots. I guess you are both robots in cahoots. Are you the mastermind? So another truth comes out. That piece of evidence makes more sense now. The evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. Uh, what? <laughs> I know. Black case. Swipe pattern blood stain. Huh. Oh no! I mean, they weren't losing that much blood. I wonder if anyone ever beat the mini game at the beginning, where you gotta make. Oh yeah, uh, there were people who did it, and if you do it in the beginning, uh, someone told me that there's an alternate ending, right? Or like, well, maybe not an alternate ending, but there's something that's like, JK, haha, you still can't leave, or something like that. Yeah, but part of this game is that, um, like before this trial, we had like the electro hammers that we can use that to just disable all the traps. So we actually made it to the end of it, and at the end was the door. And then we opened the door, and we saw that the world was fucked. Um, uh, what? What couldn't you make sense of before? In the toilet? <laughs> I can't make sense of that. It makes no sense to me why Kokichi's thing was in the toilet. There's still questions towards that piece of evidence for me. Disappearance. In the entire investigation, well, that makes sense to me. Murder video. So as Mama Kaito was crushed. Huh. Already know about that. We need evidence that we don't know about. Oh, no. What the fuck are you talking about, Monokuma? I know about the hydraulic press, I know about the safety, patch, electron launch, we know about that. We know about the poison, know about the arrows, blood stain in the bathroom, we know that that's, you know, where they were killing each other. Bathroom window, da da da, swipe, Kaito's coat, we know about Kaito's coat, what, what are you talking about? We know about his count, Electro Hammers, protecting Monokuma, Electro Bomb, we know about that, Strike 9 Poison, Kokichi's clothes. Hmm. During the entire investigation or up until the start of the class trial, no one has seen Kokichi. Damn it! Yeah, we know about that because he just said what his motive was. Well, not his motive, but 
What the fuck are you on about, Monokuma? The other one was in the middle of the hangar. I have no, oh, no. idea what's going on here. What am I trying to solve? If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, what evidence needs to be analyzed again? Well, we clicked on the Monokuma file. What the fuck? What? fatal small amounts. I clicked on the murder video, right? This is it. I thought I <laughs> I thought I clicked on the murder video. Let's Jesus. Let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic press. Kokichi said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim. But we know that Kokichi was trying to mislead Monokuma. So what about the video? It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. Then what kind of mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make? Is it possible that they're both still alive? Huh. I said earlier in the trial, at the last part, that Kokichi was like, I can't edit this footage, it just has a start, stop, you know, record function. And I said that even with an old camera like that, and the way that video kind of goes, you can literally just like stop recording the moment his body's out of frame, and then, and then continue recording after that to make kind of a jump cut. And towards the end of the press, it kind of goes quickly, so... Maybe he crushed Kaito with a hydraulic press, so the cause of death would be unknown? But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. That's true! I guess you're starting to fit in after all. If you get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Oh? I'll accept that. Huh? Really? There must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. To make us think that Kaito is dead. No reason, really. That's just my twisted personality. You're lying again, Kokichi. There's a method to your madness. <laughs> Hate the lolly witch girl? Ah, she's cool. Himiko's cool. She was a little meh at the beginning, but I've, I've come to like her more. It must have something to do with trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder, keeping the victim's identity hidden. What does that show us? Hangman's Gambit! Hmm. Is there an E around here? I see. Hmm. Oh. I have no idea what the hell. What are you trying to? What can't be identified even after watching the footage? What can't be identified? The body, right? The victim. That's a that's an M, right? The victim. Like I said, once the body's out of frame, you can just do a jump cut manually, even without editing software. Huh? It is. Is it even possible? No, that's a question for later. For now, we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. That might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? Switched? Then it was some other dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press? What? Where would he even get another body? That is a question. 
Where would he get another body? Is there a... Is there a Morgon site? Because I think there was a Morgon site in the first game. So there's a possible chance that he could have just found someone else. There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. If there was an unknown body, then we could guess the victim was Switch. <laughs> but too bad! Switching the victims was impossible! The moment he's out of frame. The footage shows See? the body being crushed. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? Once the body was out of frame. And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. I've been saying this since the beginning of the trial and no one's been listening to me. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. Remember? Damn it! Me and my big mouth! Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. But it is. Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. Oh, and what trick is that? See, you don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. So we can't just give up here. Hey, Shuichi. I'll think harder about this as well. You don't have to think that hard, Maki. I got this. So, can you confirm whether or not the victim switched places? If Kaito is... alive or not? Maki... I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't... want that. Okay then. Let's talk about the possibility that Maki will mention. Kimiko! If you call her that again... Yes, please. Oh, uh, okay. She said, okay, I guess, I guess we're going with it now. Let's all talk it over together. Together. Together, wet friends, it's what I like to do. Be together, wet friends, together the whole way through. Every day, every night, yeah, day or night, rain or shine, together, wet friends like you. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. However, if the victims were switched, then that would mean the footage was altered. It was altered. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? You just stop and start it. If we could figure that out, it's like I'm plugging maybe a computer. How they switched places. It's like, it's like whenever you take the disc out of your PlayStation 2 when it's still playing the game. <laughs> And it still works, and then you put it back in before a loading screen. I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time. Okichi made it, so it's one hundred percent suspicious. A trick to that video. What could it be? What's suspicious about it? All right, let's see what we got. Hydraulic press, safety function, coat. There must be some trick to that coat. video. That's what you all gotta murder figure video. out. Coat or murder video? No I'm gonna go with coat. You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. I believe that. Did the placement of that camera seem suspicious to any of you? The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? Uh huh. The person in that video was it really Kaito? Something seemed off about that video to me. When the hydraulic press stopped for a brief moment. I agree with that. That the video was shot at another location? I don't agree with Any that. Any other bright ideas? I mean, if you wanted to verify that it was Ka that it was Kaito who died, you would just like go right next to the hydraulic press and record it. I'm gonna agree with Kibo. 
you all gotta figure out. There is no trick. You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. Did the placement of that camera seem suspicious to any of you? The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? It is unnatural. The person in that video. Was it really Kaito? Something seems off about that video to me. When the hydraulic press. Watch out! Are you kidding me? Alright, well then I guess I'll agree with Samugi. And if it's not that, then it's the other piece of evidence. Oh shit, that was my last piece of health? Oh fuck. <laughs> oh no! Try again! This is what happens when you get a bunch of Gen Zers in a room and they don't realize that you don't need uh, recording software to uh, to fucking mess with video. What is a cassette tape? Okay, well then, then we're gonna go with Kaito's coat then. If it's not the murder video. Uh, I missed! There we go. Alright, if it's not that one, then it's fucking... It's Kibo's statement. Jesus. And if it's not that, then I'm stumped. When the hydraulic press Aha! Are you fucking kidding me? What? You think so too, Suichi? Hydraulic press wouldn't stop when I laid underneath it. I would stop for Kaito. Damn it! So what, we're using the safety function for that? Some trick to that video. That's what you all gotta figure out! There is no trick. You can check if there's no editing function in that camera. Really, Kaito? Gotta be super specific about it. Sometimes I wish I can just scream at them, you know? And just be like, this is what I mean, guys! It makes me look stupid. To be fair, I'm having less incidents than, uh, <laughs> with, with, the. Uh, with Phoenix Wright. Really Cause Phoenix Wright was really stupid. They're <laughs> like, oh, this piece of evidence. You didn't know this about the evidence and we didn't tell you about it. There we go. I agree. I agree with that. Kibo is on to something. Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? Yes. Because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press. He said, tuck and roll, baby! <laughs> yes, that's right. The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. But in the video... Uh, uh... The hydraulic press stopped briefly? Uh, I can't the blame the hydraulic press. Fine. It was just having a hard time getting it up. Or down. However you want to view it. But why would it stop? Why did the press stop? There's only one reason. Okay. Bow. 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 Oh shit. Bow. Why would the press stop? <laughs> What is that, a remote? And what's the other piece of evidence here? The Exosol. I don't think the Exosol would do anything. Is there a, uh... There we go. 
make it a little easier. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah. I see it. You remember this part? What you mean? Did you beat this game before? The only way to stop the hydraulic press is the force stop button. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered. Force with stop the is the ability that Kylo Ren has, along with, with the uh, what's his name, Cal Kestis. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the force stop button. I love how Cal Kestis is like, I'm a Padawan, but for some reason I have the ability to use fucking force freeze or whatever the fuck it's called. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Hmm, actually, maybe I pressed it by accident. I don't really remember. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? Yes, you can! That's true. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. The camera wasn't rolling. That would have clearly been caught on camera. While the camera was rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? If you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Uh-huh. Ah, I see it now. I can see clearly now. Because the rain is gone. That's how the bodies were switched. If you stop that, you could have swapped the bodies. Really? I gotta do this again? Fucking hell. Just let me just let me shout it to the heavens. It was the camera! What the hell is this? Oh, that's electro hammer. And what's over here? There's gotta be something over here, right? It's the uh electro bomb. And here's the camera. There you go. I keep hitting the fucking cord for this goddamn microphone. I hate it. I hate that I'm hitting the cord. Let me move the it up The culprit there. stopped the video camera at the same time as the hydraulic press. Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. That's what I've been saying this whole time! That would mean that the other exosol that was in the hangar, Kaito, must be in there. Or Kokichi. When did you ever say that? So they stopped at the same time. The camera position did seem odd to me. But now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. Huh? Why? To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. Let's pin that down. Where was the camera set up? It was set up. Where's the press? It was set up here. There! The video camera must have been set up somewhere around here. To operate the press and the camera at the same time, it would have to be near the switch. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. Camera angles, huh? Looks like your cosplayer experience is finally useful. <laughs> finally well, useful. Doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. Of course it doesn't. There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the height. When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position 
so it would produce that angle. You know, we could have skipped all the steps of this trial if Ko uh, Kokichi, if Suichi just said what I said at the beginning of this trial. I'm like, but they stopped the camera, and they're like, no, Kaito's dead. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I guess he's dead. I wonder if they used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. Tripod? There's a tripod in there? You mean like the the paint thing? Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez! That place is like a 4D pocket! You don't get to make that reference! Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Before he was crushed by the press, he was swapped with a different body! So Kaito's still alive! Well, wait just a minute. What? <laughs> he that said, wait story. just a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> he may still be dead. Himiko, the different body you mentioned. What are you talking about? What? The body's from the other cases. Kokichi's the mastermind, so he... He's not the mastermind. Wait, the mastermind? So where'd he get the body? Yeah. Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? Very well. I'll answer that. But there's nothing in the rule book about it. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. This discussion is pointless. If it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. That is impossible. All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Hmm. Maybe he found a watermelon and he used that. <laughs> Squished a watermelon. Thrown away? The other bodies are... Gone? Then who did Kaito switch places with? With Kokichi. I just hit my fucking microphone again. I hate this wire so much. Let me see if I can move this all the fuck away somewhere else. How about that? Maybe maybe I won't mess with it then. If they were the only ones present during the body swapping trick, and the real victim was the other person in the hangar. Kokichi. If it wasn't an old body, it could only be. What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? Maki, I think I missed something very important here. Something important? If I have the timeline right, there were only two people in the hangar at that time. Which means that something had to have been decided before. I have to pin that down. Can't let anything escape me this time. Hangman's Gambit? Oh, shit. Uh, Suicide Pact? Uh, where's a T? Get me an M. Victim. Victim what? <laughs> Victim. What? Victim help? in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped which means they were working together huh working together the only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit 
The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press, while the victim lay inside. If they switched places while the press and the camera were stopped, then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. Okay. Possible trick. Unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. Victim and culprit cooperated? Is that even possible? It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. Jeez! This culprit's a real jerk. So, have you realized who done it yet? But at the end of the day, no matter who it is, they have to die. Did they do all this just to save Maki? The culprit of the case. My detective work hasn't failed me. The culprit is inside that exocell. It can only be them. Kaito? <laughs> I went with my gut! The apparent victim we saw in the video was Kaito, which means... Kaito killed Kokichi. Kokichi was operating the hydraulic press and camera at first. If the two of them switched while the press was stopped, then the culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi must be Kaito. So, the person inside that Exosol isn't Kokichi. It has to be Kaito. What did you say? So, the culprit for this case is Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. Oh, I'm serious, all right. I don't want to believe it either, but it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion that Kaito is the culprit. Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? I'm the culprit. Maki? Huh? There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Maki? I know you don't want to sentence Kaito to his death. But I don't want to die either. <laughs> so. Because I'm the culprit. Make a choice, damn it. Wait, you? And make the right choice. But didn't you say. I saw it with my own eyes. Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. Hmm. He could have just been lying about drinking the antidote. You know, he could have just went gulp, gulp. Mmm, delicious. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito. Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. Huh? I don't understand. Maki, are you... trying to protect Kaito? If he's the culprit, you're trying to help him get away. There was only one antidote, so it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be. The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I... killed Kaito. So even if it is Kaito in there, then what's one more round of a killing, huh? You killed him before, you can do it again. 
<laughs> That's fucked up. There's absolutely no doubt. That's the truth. Uh, I thought so. Maki's trying to protect Kaito. I understand how she felt, but if Kaito is the culprit, why did he agree to Kokichi's plan to save Maki? I can't imagine that Kaito would do something so selfish. There must be a reason for it. I truly believe that. But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover that truth. But Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. What? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. What are you talking about? Impossible. That's impossible. There is no other possibility. What? I killed Kaito. <laughs> what was the red letters at the bottom? Oh, come on. Oh, that's adorable. I killed Kaito. You're the one who's wrong. He died from my Jesus. poison arrow. There's no other possibility. What do you know? I killed Kaito! You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth! But you keep getting in the way. You're so goddamn annoying. Oh shit, I didn't see the second one. What you say. I'm just trying to focus I'm on it. You, this is the truth. Ah, fuck. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth oh, anymore. Oh shit. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I oh, want to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So there we I go. know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. Final blow. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. Pretend to drink the antidote. It ends here. I... Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. He pretended to drink it? Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. But didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery? Man, Kokichi, you're really fucked up. Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. 
Who else would agree to die just to execute their plan? Why would he go that far? Just to prove that he was better than Junko. I, I don't bet know. Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what. But too bad, Shuichi figured out the truth. Truth? Are you sure it's not delusion? Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark. To make you think that I died. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Extras? I'm fine with being an extra. Me too. Huh? Why? If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. Put <laughs> these words in my mouth. He said, no, 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 you're all dead. If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function anymore. Can't function anymore. Kaito, I believe in you. Mm -hmm. If you're cooperating with this plan, you must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. Closing arguments! Okay. Oh man. Kibo's so cool looking. <laughs> Alright. Electro Ball. Mm-hmm. Who opened the shutter and got us at the hangar? Uh, let's see. Electro bomb. An XSL inside the hangar. Uh, this one? No. It would be this one. Unlock, unlock, and unlock. What do we have? The only antidote. <laughs> All right. Hit the exocell. Trail of blood. All right, what do we have here? The culprit in the press. Kokichi in the press. Where's the other one? Drink the antidote. That would fit. Uh, over here. I'm getting real, like, Arkham City vibes from this. <laughs> Just hand me the antidote! Assemble the crossbow. Kokichi's right arm. Uh, who was hit by the arrow? Oh shit, what? Kokichi's right arm. Who's hit by the second arrow? Uh, I'm confused. Oh, because Maki didn't shoot Kokichi. It was fucking. It was Kaito. The culprit's left arm. Excuse me? Oh, she shot him in the back first. Three arrows. Kokichi's back. 
Keechee's clothes flushed down the toilet. And then... Three arrows. For this part where I usually shut my fucking mouth so the game can have its moment to shine. Because I, I love watching these parts. This is the truth of the case! Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exosil hangar. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. A disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed inside. She knew exosols could bypass the barrier so she got inside one. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. While Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an Exosol with a remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an Exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an Exosol to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the Exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back, and it was no normal arrow. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. To keep Maki from becoming the Blackened, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lap and immediately ran off to get it. The Strike 9 poison slowly circulated through their systems and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. That was Kokichi's true objective. 
It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar. So she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow, but it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. An electrobomb, capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. Ah, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. There was a lot to prepare, and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike 9 poison, the whole plan would be ruined. After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, the culprit laid face up inside the press, draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. The hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered, but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. The two then switched places and also switched roles. The culprit and the victim. The would-be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera. Kokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. He wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. And so, 
Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosol to hide and waited with bated breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. They're trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. The culprit is in that Exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. Damn, Kaito. I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there. At this it, point, Kaito? even if the plan didn't work, Kaito would still be the culprit, right? Because he's the one who... Oh, wait, no. It was Maki that shot him with the poison arrow. Fuck. reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions! you damn right I do. Huh? You're still not gonna admit it? Admit it? But it's wrong. But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. Was Shuichi's reasoning wrong somehow? No, my detective work was flawless. It's the truth. I'm sure that Kaito is inside the Exoso. So why is Kaito still fighting me? Is this about Monokuma? Or is there another aspect to this? You claim everything is set, and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped for a moment. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is dead. True. Not just possible. It's the actual truth. Well, it's true. There's no proof that the bodies were switched. No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. Oh no. The robot's starting to question faith. Time to shut it down. Shut it down. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. I play Mass Effect. I know what happens. Does this unit have a soul? Get the fuck out of here. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. What will the results of this voting time be? If Monokuma makes a mistake, he won't be able to execute anyone, right? Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing. Ruin? I see. So that's your objective. You mean to ruin the killing game itself? That way, uh, that's why Kaito has been so stubborn all this time. But what does he actually mean? Monokuma can do whatever he wants the rules. How do you ruin something like that? Well, I guess if they're a true follower of Junko, then if the killing game is ruined, then there's really no reason for the killing game. 
What would be the point? Come on, Monokuma. Start the voting already. Start the voting already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh! Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? Huh. My mind is still going with Kaito. It's been going with Kaito for a while. Eep. Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Cause I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. I am not part of your fucking team, Monokuma. Don't you ever in your life. Now I know the whole truth and why. I believe in my own logic and I believe in Kaito. From this point on, it's not about logic. It's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaito. Not as a detective, but as Suichi Saihara. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. Hmm? One last conversation? There's more to talk about? You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. I just need you all to listen. All right. Okay, there's co coit. All right, say like let's that. pin this down. Poison. Who is inside that exosaw? Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokiji's the one who died. Hmm. And the culprit is Kaito standing right there. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not. I would never die! I trust Shuichi! Okay. I don't know exactly. He's put his life on the line for it. Put my faith in him. Alright. Well, what would I use? Yes, I need to lie. I know you need to lie, but... Alright, let's pin what? this down. Who is inside that exosaw? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Okiji's the one who died! Huh. Oh well, that was my last health point. Fuck! What do I need to lie about? I made too many mistakes. One mistake too many. Haha. -ha. Is this. We can't let it in. I just need to know, like, what. What evidence am I using here? Monokuma, coat, poison, Kokichi's clothes. Alright, let's pin this down. Who is inside that exosaw? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one who died. Oh, shit. Right. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's pin this down. Who is inside that exosaw? <sighs> Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one who died. No, I actually I saw him. I saw Kokichi. He was there the whole time. Kokichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. What? What do you mean, lie? I've been lying this whole time. Fuck you guys. Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is... I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. Huh? The truth is, after we found the crushed body, I... Saw Kokichi. You saw Kokichi? Yeah, man, he was making away like the fucking Hamburglar. I saw his ass, skulking about, being creepy, tiptoeing like the Grinch. Yes. He threatened me, told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, 
so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. <laughs> Fuck it, Suichi's A1 acting skills. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. I have to tell the truth. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Oh, hold on! Why did you wait until now to mention this? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. Really? I'm really sorry. But this is the only way. Kaito's trying to fool Monokuma. Trying to ruin this class trial. If Kaito's risking his life to do this, then I'll stand by him. I believe in Kaito. I believe in what he's trying to do. He's not doing this to hurt us. I'm sure he's trying to save us all. If Monokuma wants to rely on my detect work, fine. I'll just lie. Everyone, please. Don't vote for Kaito. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that Exosol. He's the culprit. Hey, Shuichi. I don't know what you're scheming. He's like, I don't know what you're scheming, but remember the rules. You get this wrong, you're all fucking dead. But as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? I'm not wrong. We can't vote for Kaito. Stop it. That's enough. Kaito, shut up. Jesus, you're ruining this. Huh? It's over. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. There's no way I can let that happen. So, it's fine. Let's end this. K Kaito! So, it really was you? My bad for tricking you guys. I'll explain everything. But before that, it's voting time. All right, don't get it wrong. I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? I'm the one who killed Kokichi. Kaito, no! It's just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. He's like, damn, Shuichi. You're an asshole. <laughs> so all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what detectives do. It's a lie. This isn't the real Kaito. He's a hologram. Just like Tupac. Hey, Monokuma! Let's hurry up and get this vote started! <laughs> well said! Let's get this started, then! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face-off! It's voting time! Damn it, dog. Eh. Thought it would be Kaito. Kinda figured that out anyways. Oh Kaito, you're dead. I'll take care of Monkey. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. There we go. Damn it, Kaito. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? The verdict's in. Damn, my misses and my retries. Still got straight A's. I'm on the hardest difficulty, by the way. Alright, Kaito, you got a lot of explaining to do. Well... Alright. Well, if the culprit's gonna confess, then I guess even morons can't screw this up. Absolutely 
The black one who killed Kokichi Oma is Kaito Momoda. You all got it right. So, you all got it right, huh? Even Suichi and Makiro voted for me. What a relief. Well, I knew you guys wouldn't get it wrong. But you know. But man, was it a hard was it hard to act like Okichi the whole time? I mean, sure, he wrote most of his own lines. Jeez. Seriously, look at this huge script. He wrote the whole thing. He even got a bunch of alternate lines for different events too. But even so, I still had to ad lib. You guys couldn't tell though, huh? Come on, man. Hey, come on, guys. Don't look sad. You guys got it right. It's all good. Why? Why? Hmm? hmm? Why did you kill Kokichi? You were against the killing game. So why did you kill him? I believed that you absolutely wouldn't do such a thing. Maki. Was she, was she protecting Kaito? Or just believing in him like me? That's right. Yeah, I should explain. Most of it is just like Suichi said. After Kokichi pretended to take the antidote, he gave it to me. I mean... Then he told me I had to cooperate with his plan. Hey! Plan? What plan? <laughs> I've been thinking this whole time of a plan to throw the mastermind off guard. What? Throw them off guard? What are you talking about? You're the mastermind. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that was a lie. I only pretended to be the mastermind. What? Pretended? Yeah. You all fell for it. But you know, I prepared a bunch of stuff. Like this remote control, I had Mew make it. The mysterious message in the courtyard, using Gonta and making him a murderer. All that preparation was just to make you guys think I was the mastermind. What? What the hell? Why did you do that? The reason why I pretended to be the mastermind Shit! was to end this boring killing game. Huh? To end it. Yeah. I thought if I showed you the desperate. I thought if I showed you the despairing truth, you guys wouldn't want to go outside anymore. I thought it would be... I thought it would end the killing game. But instead, this happened. I'm gonna die by Maki's hand. Why do you think this happened? Why do you think Maki tried to kill me? Why do you think the killing game started again? What? Why? Oh, man. Because the true mastermind instigated it. I'm certain of it. They made a move without us noticing. Man, thanks to that, everything's ruined. Hold on! The true mastermind instigated it? So whoever that person is, they also instigated Maki's actions too? I'm disappointed. Yeah. They probably tried to eliminate me because I pretend to be the mastermind. What? My actions were instigated by the true mastermind? But that can't be! The reason I decided to kill Kokichi was because I remembered the truth from the flashback light. Could it be... Maybe making you remember the truth was what the Mastermind wanted. Huh? What? Hmm. Maybe the true Mastermind had, a, had us use the flashback lights so we would target Kokichi as a remnant of despair. Which means... So the flashback light itself was the true Mastermind's trap all along. They expected us to target Kokichi once we remembered he was a remnant of despair. Okay. Kokichi certainly expected it. That's why he talked about the true mastermind. But even so, this is all rather convenient for the true mastermind. The person claiming to be the mastermind just so happened to be a remnant of despair. We're all students of Hope Peak Academy, and our fates are tied to the remnants of despair. I never would have imagined that fate would bring us to Kokichi's murder. It just plays too nicely for the true mastermind. Hmm. I didn't know about the flashback light. Guess that's another mystery for you. I mean... Anyways, like I was saying... You know... Then who is the true mastermind? Hmm. Who knows? I don't know either. But... But it doesn't matter. You can't lose. This game is pointless. Unless you win. That's why I thought of a special plan. 
when I'm on the verge of losing, <laughs> my plan will help me win. Huh? I don't really get it, but is this the plan to throw off the mastermind? Yeah. Well, it's not that difficult. Kaito, I need you. <laughs> to kill me. What? What? I mean... The plan was to make a case where the victim was unknown. And then trick Monokuma into thinking I was the victim so he'd mess up. If he ruled that either Maki Roll or Kokichi were the blackened, then I'd show myself and Monokuma's ruling would be invalid. And if Monokuma's ruling was invalid, the killing game would end. But... And that's why I'm most... That's what I'm most curious about. What makes you think it would end? That's right. Yeah, I asked Kokichi about that myself. Why would Monokuma care if he messed up on who the Blacken was? And this is what he said. Well, you know. Even if Monokuma or the true master, uh, blah, blah, blah. even if it is Monokuma or the true mastermind, they can't break the rules as they please. Being unfair like that isn't allowed. Hold up. What do you mean? Yeah. Death games are meant to be watched. If no one was watching, there would be no reason to be such a stickler, stickler about the rules. There would be no point in making this game, making this a game in the first place. But. But Monokuma has been a stickler about the rules and about making the game interesting. That's why he agreed to my plan in the virtual world. Which means. Which means Monokuma is aware that someone is watching us. In which case. I have no doubt that this death game is being shown to someone. What did you say? So, this is some kind of show? But... But who be watching? We're the only people left alive, aren't we? Yeah. And that's right. The flashback light is the reason we even remembered that. Nah. But Kokichi might have been right. Why have a death game if no one's watching? I wasn't sure about it at first, but after the class trial, there's no doubt. Listen up. Monokuma can't do whatever he wants. He's bound by the rules of the game. That's why he couldn't afford to get the culprit wrong, why he relied on Suichi. Yeah. It's just like Okichi said, if this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. A death game is made to be watched. If that's true, then who? Who is watching this? Hey. You sick fucks. Who's watching this? You gotta be a, a true fucking psychopath to watch this sick shit. By the way, make sure you follow my channel. <laughs> What's this all about, Monokuma? Is this killing game really a show for someone? <laughs> Who can say? <laughs> Why won't you tell us? We're friends. We were friends during the trial. You got Honestly, I was just happy you guys cooperated with me. Well... Humans love to help. They jump at any opportunity to extend a helping hand. Well then... Then, here's another question. Were you really? If Kokichi's remnant of despair is not the mastermind... Incomprehensible! Then who's the true mastermind? Is it another remnant of despair like him? Ahem. I'm not gonna spill the beans on a perfect-to-be-continued cliffhanger like that. Why are you... <laughs> why you... You're, you're just too cute. <laughs> what? Huh? Really? Hey. I understand Kokichi's plan, but why did you agree to work with him, Kaito? Why did you agree to kill Kokichi? Because he saved your life? You should have just ignored him. He's better off dead anyways. Nah. It was kind of hard to ignore. Such an annoying guy. Huh? What? Jeez. Jeez. I wonder how far ahead he planned this evil scheme of his. What? Yeah, but killing you. Don't screw around! What are you talking about? You want me to kill you? Ah. I figured you'd react like that. But are you sure you're okay with that? <laughs> because if this poison kills me, then Maki would become the blackened. And her crime would be exposed so easily. Well, you know. If that happened. Then Maki and I would have died for no reason, right? Which is just what the true mastermind expects. What? You, damn it. You? That's playing dirty. So, that's why you gave me the antidote. <laughs> I am the ultimate supreme leader. 
there's no depths I won't sink to. Even if I have to sacrifice myself. Anyways, this is our chance. Our chance to end this killing game. Ruin this killing game. That's why you have to kill me. So we can win and ruin this killing game. We'll bring the true mastermind and everyone who's watching. <laughs> we'll bring them down to utter despair. Then everyone who died can rest in peace. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna die soon. Can we get this started already? Damn. You're seriously crazy, dude. <laughs> but you know, At least I, I wasn't boring. Wasn't boring, right? Damn. <laughs> Damn, Kokichi. That punk. Then he blackmailed you by using me? Nah. No, I agreed to his plan once I heard the words ruin this killing game. Jeez. He was crazy, but that let him come up with some crazy plans. And we needed a crazy plan in order to stand a chance against Monokuma. I bet on that chance. I didn't have any other choice. Damn it. Cause I'm out of time. What? Time? Could it be Kaito? I mean your health. What are you talking about? But you said you were fine. You told me not to worry about it anymore. My bad. <laughs> yeah. My bad. That was a lie. Huh? A lie? <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty bad. Honestly, I'm at my limit just talking. No, it can't be. But you know. But I gotta wonder how this happened. I don't remember at all. My memories. I was fine during the medical exam for my training. If he was fine during the medical exam, then that means he wasn't immune to the fucking virus. Ah, oh, shit. Kaito. You haven't brought Corona to all of us. The fuck's your problem? Could it be... This might be the virus. What? Virus? If I remember correctly... One of the... Uh, one of the... Uh, God. One of the plagues that caused our planet to crumble. A virus carried by meteorites that spread across the globe. Hoke's Peak Academy, along with the rest of the planet, was in danger of extinction. Even though we had come so far and triumphed over so much despair, we were almost wiped out in an instant. Could it be... This must have something to do with the virus. Kaito didn't use the flashback light, so he might not remember it. But... But weren't we supposed to be immune? We were selected because we didn't... Well... Perhaps the virus was dormant when you were selected for the Gopher Project. To tell you the truth... He could have been infected the whole time, showing no symptoms, until the very end. What did you say? What? <sighs> Kaito's infected? With the virus? How could that be? Jeez. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I guess I'm pretty screwed, huh? Well, I knew this was coming. That's why I agreed to Kokichi's plan. But you know... But you know, when I found out about the plan, I thought it was pretty awesome. Hey, so... Kokichi left me with the whole outline of it. I freaked out when I read it. It was a pretty good plan. I thought we might be able to trick Monokuma. <laughs> but I knew Suichi see right through it to the end. Huh? What? Well done! <laughs> and that's exactly how it went. Nice job, Suichi. You're really something. Well then... Kaito, did you... That's right. Yeah, I knew you guys would figure everything out. Got it. That's why I was able to get on board with Kokichi and lie to you guys. Even if I messed up during the trial, I knew Suichi'd see the truth. That's my sidekick. Just what I expect from my sidekick. Why? Why? If you knew I'd see through it, why? Then? If you knew it was pointless from the start, then you should have have gone that far. Nah. Nah, it wasn't pointless. It ended up being a huge success. What's that mean? Why? I mean... Because of this plan and Kokichi pretending to be the mastermind? Got it. We got closer to the true mastermind's lair. Behind this truth, there's gotta be a hint that leads to the real truth. Huh? Did I read that correctly? Yeah, lair. Hm. The real truth? Yeah. 
Yeah, no doubt. That's why Kokichi gave me his life. But... You talk as if you were, part you were partners. So when you hated him so strong- when you hated him so strongly before... What? Oh, I hate his guts. Honestly, I'm still pissed off at him. He made us go through so much crap to the end. No, even beyond that. He was a lying sack of shit. Hey! It's getting harder to breathe. So please, can you... Hey, so... Hey, can I ask one thing? You wouldn't have ruined this killing game, but... You kept saying how fun this game was. <sighs> that was a lie, obviously. How could a game that you're forced to play be fun? Shit. I had to think this game was fun to survive. I had to lie to myself. Huh? You little... The bastards who created this game to toy with our lives? And the shits enjoying it? They all piss me off. Shit! That's why I'm willing to do whatever it takes to end this game. Huh? Kokichi said that? Nah. That could have been a lie too. He probably just said it so I cooperate with him. Hmm. Was it really a lie? I think his dying words may have been the honest truth. It's a lie! No, it's definitely a lie. He's not the type to shed real tear tears? <laughs> real tears. But I wonder which one it is. A lie or a truth? Even now, at the very end, I don't really understand Kokichi. But maybe that's what lying is about. The truth is in the eye of the beholder. Huh. Kokichi was the very embodiment of a lie. <sighs> that pretty much wraps up my explanation. Now finally... I need to apologize to Tsuichi. Huh? What? Me? I mean... To be honest, I was jealous of you. Huh? Jealous? That's right. Because you were always saving us, you know? Your detective skills kept us alive. You were just way too cool, and I got frustrated. My bad. So, that's why I was so harsh on you. My bad. That's wrong! Hey. No, Kaito. That's not true. Hey! I was only so confident because you were there for me, Kaito. When you made me your psychic, you said that you take the responsibility. And that... That's why I can do all this. If you didn't talk to me back then, even now, I'd be... Hmm? Oh shit, he's dying. <coughs> Kaito! Kaito! What? Kaito, you alright? You good over there? <laughs> You good, man? You're coughing up blood. How can I be okay? I'm about to die. <laughs> He's like, you guys fucking serious? I'm gonna die. I'm not okay. You show sure our bucko, cause it's punishment time. Punishment? I won't let you. I won't let you kill him. Oh shit. Oh, you plan to get in my way? You know what will happen if you do, don't you? So what? I don't care what happens. I plan to kill you away from the start. Away. Anyways, from the start. Indeed. Yes, I've been determined to fight back for a while now. Cut it out. No, stop. Kaito. No, Kaito. I can't. I can't let you die. That's it. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you're dying. I won't let Monokuma touch you. <laughs> what was that? What's so funny? I was just thinking about life and how irreplaceable it is. Know what I mean? Huh? What? Hmm. When a life ends, those closets... Wait, closets? <laughs> when a life ends, those closest to the moron... Wait, what? Those closest to it mourn. Fuck, I can't even... What the hell's wrong with me? I can't read. <laughs> but if you could somehow recycle that life, then those closest to it wouldn't need to mourn anymore, right? That's nice! If we could recycle life, the world would be filled with hope. And that's my point. Hey! What are you talking? Hey! Alright kids, time for your grand re-entrance. What? Ah shit. Rise and shine, your sign. I thought you guys were dead. We are the <laughs> no, I don't like the monocups. I 
I'm Monotaro. No matter how you read it, or spell it, or say it, it's still Monotaro. What the? That's totally a lie. By the way. What the hell's going on? I could have sworn there were more of these chumps before. Hell yeah! Fuck if I know. Let's destroy Mono Dam now. This sad sack is bumming me the fuck out. Oh, well, poor Mono Dam. What did you say? What the? Aren't all the Mono Cubs completely destroyed? Hey, um... Those old Mono Cubs were destroyed. These Mono Cubs are the latest models. They still got their factory settings, so in a way, it's like they're brand new characters. Thank you so but who cares? Now that my cubs are back, I'm not lonely and miserable anymore. What was that? You brought them back on a whim like that? You guys are just as replaceable. Maybe not as replaceable as the mono cubs, but finding other people to participate in this killing game is easier than you might think. What? So we're not... Okay, see this is what confused me the whole time. Because I'm like, there's no fucking way that there's only 16 people they chose for the gopher project. There has to be other people out there, right? Finding other people? Oh well. I got no idea what's going on, or what any of this means, but that's right. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! We're so fucking lovable and shit. Expect Monodam. Expect. <laughs> Except Monodam, of course. That guy's ugly. Hey, hey! Oh, do you know what else this means? Shing. Now that the Mono Cubs are back, I've got my Exocells. Entourage protecting me again. Fuck. I had a hard time reading that. I don't know why. Still want to defy me now? Mm. This is bad. If he's got the Exocells again, so what? I won't let you kill him. It doesn't matter. I won't let you kill Kaito. I'll fight until the end. Stop. I mean, if you fight the Exocells, you're just gonna get killed, damn it. The remote control and the last electric bomb were crushed in the press. No. No. I won't give up. Maki roll. Enough already. I... I've never felt this way before. I've always fought to kill. But this is the first time I fought to protect someone. Huh? huh? And I never been given a nickname like Maki roll before either. What? You. I And I never met someone as stubborn as you before. <laughs> and I never <laughs> fell in for someone before. Damn it! Come on, Maki! But Damn it! What? Maki roll. Maki. No. I don't want this to end. I just don't. I won't let you kill him. That's why I won't let you kill Kaito. I absolutely won't let you. My bad. Maki roll. I'm sorry. But that's not an option. I don't have much time left as you think. <sighs> I'm fighting just to stay standing. I But I Hey, so... Hey, Maki Roll. I asked you before. What's your enemy? Before you hated yourself so much, you didn't even like yourself a little. And wasn't that the reason you tried to distance yourself from others? That's right. You decided that you didn't deserve to have friends, didn't you? That was your enemy. Don't worry about it. But not anymore, huh? You're all right now. <laughs> you fell for a guy like me. Now you can learn to like yourself. Poor Maki. Come on, man. Hey, don't cry. Can't you send me off with one last smile? I believe in you. You guys too. I'm not gonna allow any tears. Send me off with a bang. Uh, okay. All right, Kaito. I won't cry. I'll endure it. Me too. I'm gonna hold it in. <laughs> yeah, I'll endure it. I. I can't cry. Even if I wanted to. Oh, Kiba! <laughs> oh. oh, no. Hey, sorry about the wait, Monokuma. You can go ahead and start now. Okay. Can do. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, boy. My first punishment time. I've never seen one before. Hey. But let me say this to the true master mind controlling Monokuma. Get ready. You better get ready. My friends aren't going to lose to you. Yeah. And that's all. Please. I'll leave the rest of you guys in this ridiculous killing game. Please do not worry. We'll end it. So please, don't worry. Shuichi! And Suichi, never forget you're not alone. 
You have friends. Don't try to do everything by yourself, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, Kaito. Okay. The impossible is possible. Don't forget. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Kaito. Aww. Poor Maki. Maki roll! Maki roll. How long are you gonna cry? You should smile. Sorry. I can't. That's impossible. I can't. <laughs> of course. My bad for making you cry like that. <laughs> Alright! Alright then. Let's end this with a bang. I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. Okay, okay. You don't gotta tell me. I'm excited to get this started. Get ready! Oh yeah? Well, screw you! I'm not gonna die the way you want. It's punishment time! Jesus fuck, I wanted to stay quiet during the whole thing, but... <laughs> to stay quiet during the whole thing, but fuck you, Monokuma. He died on his own terms. <laughs> he said, ha ha, bitch. You can't kill me unless I kill myself first. <laughs> Kaito. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Uh, Ke Kibo? Right? Kibo? You okay? You got hit by debris when you protect. Well. I'm fine. More importantly. <laughs> Monokuma. He's a like, motherfucker. Hey! What's the matter, Monokuma? Upset that Kaito won? Eh? What do you mean, Kaito won? Because... He died before the end of your punishment. Kaito didn't die from your execution. Okay! That's right. Kaito wasn't killed by you. Yeah! It's Kaito's victory. <laughs> we lost? I don't know if he meant to do it, but he certainly went out like a stubborn jackass. Oh, whatever. It's not like this is the end of the killing game, so it's fine. What was that? It's not over. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, no shit. Hey! Ain't it written in the school regulations? That's right! The killing game will go on until there's just one blackened or two spotless. Hmm. School regulations. So you're gonna follow the regulations, huh? The only reason you want rules is because you're showing this to someone. Well... I just want an entertaining killing game. But, you're certainly entitled to your opinion. That's wrong! And that's enough. But, <laughs> look at Suichi. Getting his JoJo's poses ready. Look at him. He's like, uh-huh. Enough of your bullshit, Monokuma. I made a promise to Kaito. I'll end this killing game. That's it! And to give Kaito's death meaning, I swear, I will keep my promise. You're right! Yeah, we're not gonna let anyone else die. Hmm. Who's even gonna play this game anymore? It's already over. Hmm. 
You couldn't cut this tension with a knife. What's everyone talking about anyways? Well, actually... You couldn't? Said could. My bad. <laughs> Feels like we stumbled into the last act. I don't know what's happening at all. Pops! Yo, Pops. Fill us in. We wanna... We wanna help you out. Oh, Manosuke is acting nice. He's sucking up for brownie points. They're so cute. Oh, I just can't help myself around you cute little cubs. <laughs> Gather around, kids. I'll spend a whole month telling you about what you missed. A whole month? Will that take longer than the whole chapter? My I'll tell you all about it while I smother you with hugs and kisses. You kids, go on ahead and wait for me at home. So long, farewell! Hmm. Why? Why did I stay behind? Because I want to give you all a reward for working so hard? Why, you? We don't want it. Just go away. You're really bugging By the way, I don't know where you got the idea this killing game can be stopped. There's nothing a participant can do to end this killing game. No way. Nuh-uh. This game's gonna go and go for a long time. During his ranting, Monokuma took out... Huh? Flashback light. Ah, shit. What? What? What did you just do? What? Was that a flashback light just now? Could it be? Is it broken? I don't feel like I remembered anything. <laughs> the flashback light has a special effect. You'll remember soon enough. You'll remember that despair is the only choice you have. Yahoo! And that hope doesn't exist here at all. <laughs> the killing game will never end. And then, Monokuma left. He declared that this killing game would continue. He declared there was no hope. After all that, I honestly don't remember how we got back. It took all I had to just accept the reality that Kaito was gone. And not just Kaito, Kokichi too. Someone we all trusted, and someone none of us trusted. We lost them both. But it wasn't all for nothing. Because we're drawing even closer to discovering the true mastermind. Ah! Uh, makes no sense! But you died! I saw you die. Is this another, is this another Mukuro thing? Someone just dressing up as Junko? The killing game will never end. Never ever. Never ever? Never ever. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. It'll repeat over and over and over. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. As long as it's fun, we have to keep going. That's just simple supply and demand. <laughs> oh, that is not Junko. <laughs> that is not Junko. <laughs> Such despair. That is not Junko. I had to take a drink of my water. Jesus, my throat is killing me. Later that night, back in the Hall of Heroes, I found myself standing in that one spot in the courtyard, the place where Kaito and I would train together. My heart felt crushed, all the loss and guilt and helplessness sinking into my chest. But still, I stood there. Well... What are you doing? Ah. Oh. Ah, Maki. Hey. So you came too? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Maki, I'm sorry. What? For what? Uh, um... I was the one who drove Kaito into a corner. Just like Kaede, I ended up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Well... Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Huh? Hey. Are you lonely now that Kaito's gone? Okay. Yeah, lonely. I feel so lonely. 
It's so sad. I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaito. If he hadn't had been my friend, I would be... That's right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but I'm grateful to Kaito. Huh? Grateful. Okay. Yeah. I want to tell him that rather than being sad or lonely. I'm grateful to him. And that's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not gonna wallow in pity. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he's done. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation too. I'm sure that our friend who's passed on don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. So you guys were here after all. Yeah. Just like I thought. Oh, I knew you guys would be here, because I cast a spell to find you. Ah. Oh. Samugi? Himiko? Um. If you don't mind, can we join you for training? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I'll train you all from the ground up so we can end this killing game together. Huh? We're gonna end this together? Yeah. Himiko and I promise, Kaito. Okay? Yeah. We're gonna do what we promise, and work together to end this killing game. You guys leave Kibo by himself? Is he feeling alright? <laughs> what happened to him? All right. We can't afford to lose to despair. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Monokuma said there's no hope anywhere. But he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope. Okay, Sora, calm down. Cause my friends are my power! Damn, God. damn, Suichi. I'm just saying, listen, I'm not saying much. I'm just saying, eh? <laughs> you got, you got them all to yourself. <laughs> Each and every one of them. Kaito said it best. I'm not alone. That's right. I have friends. Man, I guess we have no choice but to repopulate the planet, huh? You know what I mean? Not just my friends here but also friends who have died. They all give us hope too. That's why I'm going to live. I want to live for everyone who died. Despair cannot defeat me. I will hold on and survive no matter what. Thank you, Kaito. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Cause, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Hey, no fair, Kaito. Hey! Oh, by the way. Uh... What happened to Kibo? Do you know where he went? Huh? Kibo? I don't know. Why is that guy... What is that guy off doing? <laughs> I don't think a robot really needs to do any training. But... But the rest of us are here, and I kind of wish he'd come too. Did Kibo remember his true purpose? <laughs> Without his little antenna? It's quiet. Too quiet. And yet, this silence is quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. Even if despair is all we have to choose, even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. I... I will end this. No matter what, I will force this to end. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, is steeped in despair.
Oh shit. <laughs> Kimo! And I will destroy it. Kibo said, <laughs> now that my inhibitors have been released, I shall show my true power. You got a galactic jacket. Would you like to save your game? Yes, I would. So there's only five left now. Jesus. I'm a chef What else should I be? Please don't take all.